Hey guys, welcome back. We are getting ready to fry some fish. This is croaker fish found off of the Atlantic Ocean and it is amazing. You can find it in a lot of places going along the coast. And this is the croaker fish. You will definitely need some of it. This is an award-winning recipe. My father used to catch croaker fish off the Mississippi River all the time. He would fry it up in this amazing cornmeal batter and oh my goodness, it won over a many of hearts. So I'm going to share this recipe with you all and show you just how we do it. All right, guys, let's get busy. Okay, now, of course, you're going to need the fish. And this is the croaker fish. This is a whole fish. It does have bone in it. We're cooking it this way. Head has been removed, although some people do uh, cook it with the head on, but I'm not. <laughs> Okay, we're going to need some cornmeal. Now, this is not a cornmeal mix. This is just regular cornmeal. I have the yellow cornmeal. You can use the white, but we use the yellow. So you want to get you some old-fashioned yellow cornmeal. I've got an egg. I've got a little heavy cream, a little lemon juice. And to fry it up, guys, mm, this award-winning recipe, you need sharpening. Don't be trying to cook it up in no canola oil and no vegetable oil. You need shortening. So grab you some shortening if you want this recipe. The seasonings are very minimal, not a lot. Garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. That's all you need, a little paprika. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring you in closer so I can show you exactly what we need to do. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take our lemon juice and pour it over our fish. And we're gonna just let this sit for a couple of minutes. Gives it an amazing flavor. And you just wanna make sure all pieces have a little lemon juice on it and just let it sit. It's very acidic, so you don't have to worry about it if they're not submerged completely in there. Just gonna rotate them every few minutes. We have our shortening over there heating up while we are doing this. So we're gonna sit this aside. Now you're going to need an egg wash. So I've got my egg lightly beaten in here. And since I'm using a little heavy cream with this, I'm going to go in with a little water as well, just to make it just a little bit more liquidy. But if you have milk, that'll be all you need. Now, as usual, I'll leave all the ingredients down in the description for you guys. Make sure this is well mixed, well mixed. Now to it, we're going to add some garlic powder. Now this garlic powder is in this jar because this is my homemade garlic powder. And if you want the recipe for how to make your own garlic powder and onion powder, leave me comments down below and I will share that with you guys. I will absolutely share that with you all. A little onion powder. And this, because it is homemade, it's a little bit more potent. So I'm gonna go in with a little paprika as well. A little Himalayan salt. Always season your salt and your pepper to taste. Again, make sure everything is well combined. And the key to this recipe, guys, the real key to this recipe is your shortening. We're going to go in with our cornmeal. We're going to do the same thing. Always season in layers. So we're going to put our cornmeal in here. Same thing for our cornmeal. Garlic powder. Onion powder. And there's a key to having this colorful onion powder. That's a whole nother video. All right, a little paprika, not much. A little Himalayan salt. And a little black pepper. Go ahead and give that a stir. Make sure everything is well mixed. Okay, now I have drained the lemon juice off of them. Do not rinse them, but you do want to drain them. So I'm going to put them in here just so we can sprinkle some salt and pepper on these as well. Go in again, season to your taste, but make sure you season. 
We don't need the paprika on these, but we will go in with a little garlic. Just a little bit of onion powder. You can simply use the onion and garlic powder out of the store as well. It's all good. Then just kind of pat that on there, don't rub it. This fish actually has a skin on it. This is what you're looking at. That's a skin on there. Kind of like how salmon has skin on it, so does croaker. And oh my goodness, when you get that skin good and crispy, mm, mm, mm. think of fried chicken, guys. Think of fried chicken. Okay, let's season up the other side. Again, pat it. Make sure it's well seasoned. And get some inside there. Take your hands, take some of that seasoning and rub it on the inside there, right on the inside, all the pieces. Now that we have it all seasoned up, we wanna take our croaker fish and we're going to first dip it in our egg wash. Make sure it's coated really well, but also guys, make sure any excess drips off. All that does is clump up and come off in your oil. So you don't want that at all. Make sure it's off of there. Then go ahead and get it coated with your cornmeal mix. And yes, you can put some on the inside there. Make sure that tail gets done. It's nice and crispy. And yes, it is edible. It is edible. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. And then you just want to set it aside and do all of them like that. Okay guys, so this is what your fish should look like. Okay guys, we want our temperature in our skillet to be at 360. And I am using a thermometer this time. I usually just sprinkle a little cornmeal or flour in my oil, but I'm actually gonna give the way a thermometer just like this. This is a Final Touch X10 professional thermometer when I reach 10K subscribers. So guys, if you would take a moment, if you are not subscribed, turn on the bell and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Okay, let me see where we are. I think we are just about there. We are now passing 350 on this thermometer. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and put our fish in here. Gently, gently, gently. I'm just gonna do two at a time so I won't be crowding my skillet. And it was a good thing the temperature was up a little high because when you drop your fish or anything that you're frying, your oil automatically cools down. So we're gonna let this cook and we'll be back when it's time to turn it over. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn it over. Ooh, it is looking good, looking good. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing. Oh my goodness. It only needs to cook about five to eight minutes total. So we're gonna let it cook on that side for a few minutes and we'll be back. Okay, we are ready to take this out and it is looking amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at how crispy that looks on the inside. How crispy that is. Look at that all over. Isn't that delicious? Mm, mm, mm. Put it over here on a wire rack and let it cool. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We are all done. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Look at that crispiness. Oh my goodness. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.